guys i'm ready to do another video with my very oh so sexy natural hair you see this part right here i got a corner i still got the cornrow but this part right here is the part we use to blend in with anything that looks natural okay this looks natural whatever you blend it in and everything looks natural yeah that's how you guys like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but when we go out like this y'all don't want us but anyways how come when females when a lot of females put guys on child support the men get mad they start cursing the female out why are you cursing her out you the one who was so in love you said she was the queen of your life and she was going to be you was going to be with her forever to death do you guys apart you had it all made out in your head so you went ahead and, and kept offloading your children offloading your children and you want to blame her now for putting you on child support sir before offloading them kids, you should have thought about engaging her, getting married to her, and giving it some time to make sure that she is the one you want to have your babies with. Somebody else just run around, just offloading your generation everywhere, huh? <clears throat> yeah, man, they make me vest a coffee and choking on my own spit. But you go around offloading your generation, offloading your children, randomly. You're not engaged or married to the girl. So now the girl got to raise that child and she puts you on child support, which works for her. As for me, I don't do it. I don't do child support. I have three children. I've been married once and the second relationship, it was a flop. Oh, well, it happens. I'm looking for me a pastor to get married to now because I'm growing spiritually and I'm, I, I actually want to stay away from these guys who want to call a female everything but a child of God and then, you know, get physical with you verbally and physically abusive. Those are, I, I, I don't need that anymore. I need me a pastor. Amen to that. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I need me a pastor. So I'm not going down that road any, anymore. I'm active in my church. I'm doing my comedy. I'm doing my gospel music. That's, that's the path I want to go on to. But I don't knock females who put you on child support. Because you as a man, you got to be very responsible with your children. All those children in your testicles, you need to be very responsible, make responsible decision about it. Engage the girl first, okay? Don't, don't get her pregnant. Date her for X amount of years. Engage her. Don't get her pregnant. Get married to her. Give it a couple of years before and look at everything, you know, and see how your marriage life is going, living together is going to go. And then you, you get, you, you get her pregnant. You have that first child. Wait five years and see how it's going to work out again for over, over those three to five years and then get her pregnant again but some of y'all just run around just wasting your generation everywhere and then when they get put you on child support you want to curse her you want you want to spoil her name you want to go in a community and tell people she's a whole she's a this she's a that no you the one who made your own mistake because if you're not coming to offload your children she wasn't you wasn't gonna have these kids running around and these women putting you on child support you have yourself to blame blame your not bad blame your not bad if you don't know what not bad is not bad is another slang that liberian use as a pigeon language we use it to for to, to the, that's the name for penis okay not bad you have to blame your own bear. You have to blame your squirtum. You have to blame yourself. Okay? Get mad at yourself. Cuss yourself out. Don't cuss that lady out. Because you're not coming to be offloading your sperm everywhere and not doing it responsibly. You're not be on child support by 5, 10, 15, 20, 1,000 different women. Okay? Leave them alone. They deserve to get that money from you and support the children. Don't you? I don't know. You guys don't think it. You're not thinking. Some of these women, they do this thing as, as business. Okay? Okay? They, 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 they just want to go and find guys who got it going on, get pregnant for them. Three, four, five, six children, six different dads, and they're set for life. Some females do these things as business. But some of y'all are too stupid. Y'all get, y'all, y'all, y'all get with them. Y'all ready to offload your children. You're not even saying no their intention. Y'all can't wait to get to know them, engage them, marry them, wait for a couple of years before having kids with them. Get to know the female intention. Get to know her inner and outer and make sure that she's actually a queen. She's beautiful from the inside and outside before you start offloading your children. Because the one who do it as business, they will have you guys trapped. And you have yourself to blame. I will say again, you have yourself to blame. Don't be cussing nobody's daughter out. Don't be, don't be running around and being such an idiot, 
cussing women out. Your mother is a woman, okay? So stop cussing women out. If you didn't manage your, your children, your generation, your sperm, your not bad, if you manage it good, if you make uh, better decisions, you have yourself to blame. What's this here?